Electrical switch gear are mainly classified into three major types. One is the high voltage switch gear. Then we have the medium voltage switch gear and then we have the low voltage switch gear three. These are the three broad categories of the switch gear. And in this video, we are going to talk about the high voltage switch gear. Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Gaurav J. On this channel, I simplify electrical engineering. So if you are interested to learning the electrical concept in a very easy way, then you should consider subscribing because there is a lot of content which will be helping you throughout your journey. And also one more thing, almost 74% of the people, they are watching the content, but they are not yet subscribed. Well, of course, this will not have any impact on you, but definitely this will have a great impact on the channel if you do subscribe, because that will help the channel to grow further. And if you think the content the work that I'm doing is helping you, then definitely do consider subscribing, right? With that note, let us talk about the high voltage switch gear here. So on the screen, what you can see is the typical single line diagram of the power system. So here is the generating station where we are generating energy at 11 kV. So why I'm showing this because I want you to know the locations where we would need the high voltage switch gears, right? For that, this is the explanation. So 11 kV, we are generating power, then that voltage, we are stepping it up. And then that is what we call as the primary transmission. So definitely here we would need the high voltage switch gears, right? This is one. Then again, after the primary uh, transmission, we have the secondary transmission, which happens at a lower voltage than the primary uh, transmission. So here as well, we will need the high voltage switch gear. Then next to that we have the primary distribution which happens at again a step down voltage so here what we will need is the medium voltage switch gear which we'll talk about in the next video so two locations we saw one is the primary transmission and another one is the secondary transmission there we would need the high voltage switch gear right now let us see what are the different uh, rated voltages that we have so anything which is above 50 2 kV is referred as the high voltage or extra high voltage, right? So in, in India, we have the rated voltage as 72.5 kV, then we have 145 kV, then we have 245 kV, then we also have 420 kV and then the maximum is what we can do is 800 kV. KV. Now these are the rated voltages that we have here in India and this will be common for all the countries who follows the IEC standard. Maybe somebody will have 550 KV as well. So if these voltages are different in your country then do comment that in the comment section below because that would be interesting to know. Right. So whenever you see these voltages you have to keep in mind that the switch gear that is used will be a high voltage switch gear. So basically anything above 52 kV will be a high voltage switch gear. Clear? Understood? Now this high voltage switch gear, if you see, they are broadly classified into three major type. They, you will see three uh, majorly used type of switch gear. We'll see about them one by one. So starting with, of course, the AIS technology, this is called as the air insulated switch gear. Now what happens is we are using air as an insulating medium when we use the AIS technology and hence the name is air insulated switch gear. Now quickly one concept I would like to explain to you here. So there are two types of uh, uh, insulation that you will see majorly provided in the uh, switch gear. One is the insulation that we see within the face. So let's say this is a circuit breaker, interrupter of a circuit breaker. And uh, the insulation that is provided inside uh, this is what we call as the insulation within the phase, right? This is, let's say, our phase of the circuit breaker. Now, this is generally provided in high and extra high voltage switch gear is with the help of SF6 gas. Right. So that is insulation within the phase. The second concept uh, is what we call as the insulation between the phase. So of course, there will be R, Y and B three phase. So let's say this is one more phase that we have. And now the insulation provided between these two is provided by a air. So that is the reason why this is called as air insulated switch gear. So insulation between the phase is provided by the 
air in uh, sorry air that's why the name is air insulated switch gear so let's say this will be the b phase similarly there will be y phase and there also insulation is provided by air clear understood why it is called as air insulated switch gear because we are using air as an insulating medium between the phases i'll also show you some of the photographs that i have so basically uh, these are available right from 72.5 kV up to 800 kV and this type of switch gear is the most commonly used switch gear you will see you will see almost 70 to 72 percent of the substation in the whole world uses this type of technology right the current rating that uh, you will see generally goes up to 4 thousand ampere this is i'm talking about the rated current not the short circuit current short circuit current can go up to 63 kilo amperes right now uh, let us look at how it looks like so what you can see on your screen is the photograph of air insulated switch gear so this is a circuit breaker so you see this is r phase this is y phase and this is b phase so the insulation provided between these two phases will be provided by the air and hence the name is air insulated switch gear now since the dielectric property of air is not very strong what you have to do is you have to keep a specific distance between two phases in order to achieve the required dielectric strength and this distance will increase with increase in the voltage level so for 245 kV level there will be one specific distance and for that for 420 kV the distance will double for 800 kV again double so you have to increase that distance it depends upon the voltage rating and that is the reason why uh, you will see these type of switch gear are you um, installed outdoor only indoor options is not available and hence it needs also the frequent maintenance right now uh, i'll show you some of the photographs i had a chance to visit a 800 kv substation there i took some of the photographs i'll share it with you so what you can see this is a circuit breaker this is a 420 kV circuit breaker you see this is R phase Y phase and B phase and insulation in between these phases is what is air right the air insulated switch gear now the insulation technology a uh, is changing continuously past we also had air blast circuit breaker we had oil circuit breaker but now uh, in current scenario the market is majorly dominated by the sf6 gas but of course there are solutions available which do not need sf6 gas so in future uh, the sf6 technology will also be not available now i've talked about the sf6 free switch gear in one of the free webinars that i have i'll provide the link for that free webinar down in the description you can go and have learn more about the sf6 switch gear that is coming right so this is a circuit breaker then this device what you can see is a disconnector it's a double break disconnector connector it will open from this end and this end as well so this is again a air insulated disconnector this is what is the current transformer or ct and this what you can see is a 800 kv circuit breaker so this is the 800 kv circuit breaker and this is the disconnector that we have for that so you will see 800 kV we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 interrupter for one phase. So you see for total three phases we will need 12 interrupters right. This is the 800 kV circuit breaker and this is the uh, disconnector that we have. This is called as the knee type disconnector. It opens like a robotic arm and hence the name is knee type disconnector right. So that is the air insulated switch gear uh, most commonly uh, most commonly used type uh, switchgear type that you will find in majority of the substations right mostly used outdoor and this needs a uh, 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 large space and but the cost of it is very very cheaper if when we compare it with the other available technologies right now let us go and talk about the gis technology now the second type of uh, uh, switchgear technology that you will find is gis where the gas is used as an insulating medium between the phases right in air insulated switch gear we saw that in between the phases the insulation was provided by the air but here it will be provided by some insulating gas like sf6 so this is let's say r phase this is y phase and the insulation between these two is provided by sf6 gas instead of air and hence the name is 
gas insulated switch gear now since uh, majorly the sf6 gas is used and the properties of sf6 gas, gas is far better when we compare it with the air especially the dielectric property and hence what we can do we can squeeze uh, the two phases together we can limit the space that we are giving uh, in between the two phases and have a compact type of switch gear right and that is what we are using so i'll also show you the photograph of that so what you can see on your screen is a gas insulated switch gear now one important thing that you have to keep in mind that in case of ais you can procure the different switch gear from different different manufacturer what i mean by that is let's say you are procuring circuit breaker from one manufacturer current transformer from another uh, disconnector from another voltage transformer another that is perfectly fine you can procure it from multiple manufacturer and put it in the substation and uh, connect it together but in case of gis that is not possible in case of gis it is a metal enclosed switch gear which is factory assembled so what you can see this is consist of everything this will have circuit breaker current transformer voltage transformer disconnector and everything is already present in the image that you can see and since is everything is connected together very closely the size of this becomes very very compact they i have a detailed comparison about the ais technology and gis technology i'll provide link for that down in the description you can go and check it out for uh, more interesting differences between the two right now uh, let me quickly show you what is what are all the things that is included so this portion what you can see is basically the bus bar this vertical portion is circuit breaker this portion is the current transformer this is a voltage transformer this is a disconnector with earthing switch and this is the cable compartment that we have so you see everything is there this is the local control cubicle or lcc is what we call so everything is there inside the one equipment it is already factory enclosed so you just have to take it put it on the site install and then you're done right so that is the gas insulated switch gear now this is very very compact and mostly used where there are space limitations or the land cost is skyrocketing so for example if you have to build a substation let's say in mumbai now their land cost is very high so you can either go with this type of technology where you will save a lot of money uh, uh, that you would be spending in land right uh, but for this this is majorly indoor there are some outdoor options available but mostly this is used indoor so you will need to have maybe a dedicated building for this but initial investment is high compared to the ais technology very very high i would say right so that is the gas insulated switch gear the second most commonly used uh, type of switch gear in high voltage industry now let us talk about the third type of switch gear technology that we have and which is not very commonly used this is called as the mixed technology switch gear or it is also called as the hybrid type of uh, switch gear so as the name suggests this is basically the combination of the ais and gis so some portions uh, some equipment will be from ais some equipment will be from gis uh, let's see the photograph of that so here what you can see is this is equipment is a circuit breaker this is basically a dead tank circuit breaker so you can say it's a gis now again i have a dedicated video which explains the difference between live tank and dead tank i'll provide a link for that also down in the description so this is a dead tank circuit breaker and this equipment right here you can see this is a disconnector now this disconnector is of the ais technology so you see this is a mixed kind of technology so definitely the space required for this will be lesser uh, when we compare it with the ais but when we compare it with the gis then of course this would need a uh, bigger space so when this is used this is majorly used when you don't have enough money for gis uh, and you also don't have enough land for the ais so there uh, you can have this option because this would need lesser space compared to the ais technology but this is not very commonly used type of technology most commonly used is ais and gis right so that is uh, the major three types of uh, high voltage technologies that we have air insulated gas insulated and the mixed technology 
now when we go to the distribution part which is the primary distribution here we will need the medium voltage switch gear now there are some differences between the high voltage and medium voltage uh, switch gear which we will be talking in the next video that is coming on the channel so if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe with the bell notification icon turned on so that you get notified about this video or if the video is already available on the medium voltage switch gear i'll provide link for that down in the description you can go and check it out right so i hope you have a clear idea now about the different types of high voltage switch gear that we have if you found the video helpful then do like the video and do comment helpful in the comment section in that way i'll understand this content is helping you right so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning